Hello everybody, welcome back. It was supposed to be a double header, but one game got forfeited. So we have just one game of Rocket League today. We have our Saints taking on Oklahoma Christian University. I'm your host, Theo Known, as the one on today. I'm joined by Patrick. What do you think of the matchup today? Uh, well, I will say uh, Oklahoma Christian University is not an easy opponent, at least on paper they shouldn't be, because they took Ole Miss to four games. They just beat them in four. So 3-1 last week for them. And on the side of the Saints, we brought we had a heartbreaking loss, a yeah. uh, 3-2 loss to Western Virginia, I want to say. So, yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. So it's going to be a good matchup uh, in terms of the lineups on our varsity team. As, you know, they should be sitting the same. It's going to be Vesh, Spoods, and Christian. And, uh, you know, I've been following these guys a little throughout the weekend as well. They were competing in the uh, RLCS NA Qualifier 2. And uh, I believe they placed between 65th and 128th. So, pretty decent. And actually, looking at the brackets, they almost made it to Day 3. So, they almost finished uh, in that 65th to 48th spot. But it just didn't happen. But anyway, they're uh, doing pretty good. Last week, I liked what I saw out of them, uh, at least to start. Again, new roster, and Western Virginia is a serious CRL threat. Um, pretty good team and a decent contender. So to see them kind of take them to game five, it was uh, a sign of what I would hope is good things to come for this team. Yeah, and last week they started off the first game with a bang, winning it 4-0. Not something we expected, but if they can get off to a start like that today, it's definitely going to be something that can uh, propel them to victory and it really starts to get the momentum going early. But as you said, it's going to be a very, very intense matchup. Uh, Saints definitely looking to bounce back after a bit of a heart-breaking loss. What do you think are the keys to victory today for them? So what I will say is this team suffers from a couple of weak spots. Number one, what I think is the biggest problem is leaving Spoods back on defense. I see sometimes that he usually gets trapped in like 1vxs on the breakaways. So that's a little tough. And the other thing that I was noticing last week is that when West Virginia decided to get physical and started demoing and bumping, the Saints had absolutely no counter to it. So that's something that I think needs to improve for them. And, you know, we'll see as it goes through the season. Yeah, absolutely. We saw our Saints getting demoed many, many times last week. And that could have been really the fall to or their demise. You know, they did manage to pick up a fourth game there as well. But I think lost 2-1 in that final game made it very, very close. And as you said, the side of Oklahoma Christian University was able to win 3-1 last week. What do you think we're going to see from them today after such a hot victory? Right. And I mean, their opponent as well, Ole Miss, is another team that was doing, I believe, pretty okay in the CRL season as well. So this is going to be another hard matchup. I see this one going to game five again. This time, I know last time I said that uh, West Virginia was going to take it. I got a little more faith in my boys this time. <laughs> I think that the uh, NA Quals or RLCS have got them a little bit warmed up facing some hot competition. So I think they're going to take this one, but I think it's definitely going to go to game five again. I agree. I think it's going to go to game five. It's going to be a very, very, very competitive series, and I hope we get to see some really good Rocket League action. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but we'll be right back with game one. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back everybody, we are just about to get into game, I believe uh, the lobby is set up and the players are joining. We already made our predictions, you know, you said 3-2 for the Saints, I said it's going to game 5, but I didn't pick a winner. I'm going to go with the Saints as well, so let's see if they can get anything done. Let's look at the starting rosters, we got Vesh, Christian and Spoods on the side of St. Clair College, on the side of Oklahoma Christian University, we got Chicken, Chili and G-Man. Right, and on the side of St. Clair, as I say, it comes up from Spoods, again, like I said, it's going to be a play of whether they can help him out in defense. Christian is going to try to get the clear, but it's going to be put back into the center by G-Man, and as he finds the ceiling, it's just not going to be a pass available. There will be no pass. It's going to be Oklahoma looking for an early sh strike here. They're going to get a nice pass towards Chile, but it's going to be great defense from Spoods to clear that one out. And a good first defense for the Saints. Christians was shot on target, but G-Man finds the save. Great attempt from him there. It's going to be G-Man taking around his defender. Going to take it around the second. Spoods going to look for the clearance, but G-Man finds a great pass in the open shot. to Chile, and that should be Woo! a goal. Taking it around two defenders. Such great play there from G-Man and sets up his teammate Chile beautifully. Right, and getting that side ball off the 50 sets up Chile beautifully. He has the perfect angle, knows exactly where to put it. Bottom left, it's going to be a hard shot for Christian to react to, and especially with low boost as well. Christian did not have an easy time dealing with that one. His kickoff goes the way of the Saints. Christian's going to try to force a 50, most likely, or a pass. Oh, great ball. pass. He has boots oh, down, but it's just going to be no. bar and out. And now Vesh, you have to stay controlled here. He wants a challenge, and he's going to do just that. Buying his Saints some time to rotate back. Oh, That's going to be another shot by Spoods. So far, the Saints are going to be a lot more aggressive in this kickoff. Yeah, they're looking for a goal back. Very early, Vesh takes around a couple defenders, but Chile is there for the save. Saints trying to get it back instantly. Spoo's going to take it around a couple defenders, but it's going to be defended from Oklahoma Christian University. They're going to look to go on an attack of their own, but what the great bump. bump there coming out, and the finish comes through. Saints instantly able to get their goal back as Christian finds the goal. And if Christian's going through your goal line, get the hell out of the way. It's going to be Spoods getting the bump as well. Him and Christian have been doing so much in the front line that period of transition. And right now, St. Clair looking really good as they tie the game up one apiece. Spoods with the demo and his chili tries to take his time here, getting the flip over the oh defender of St. Clair. The shot's going to be just wide by Chicken and the clear coming out as well. A very good pass play so far. But right now, it's just been back and forth between the two offenses. Both teams opening up very aggressively. And speaking of aggressively, a double demo there. Spoos and Chicken taking each other out. But G-Man on the side here, taking around a couple, around a couple defenders as another demo is going to come through. G-Man's going to look for the shot there. Spoos is right there for the save. save. Snakes it around his other defender, and it's going to be a clearance coming up from St. Clair College. G-Man back on the attack, one-on-one -on -one here with Vesh. Takes it around him. Spoos is able to get a crucial touch there to save that one. It's going to be actually coming back in, looking for a shot there. It's going to be a pass to G-Man, but just can't find the angle does get the demo on to Christian and it's gonna be in a very dangerous spot here for St. Clair but Spoods is gonna be able to get a nice little touch there chicken will get it cleared out by Vesh as well but Oklahoma Christian are definitely putting on the pressure the ball's going right in front of the net of the Saints but just can't go in great defense from them so far chicken puts it in the middle there but it's gonna be cleared out again as another demo comes out for Oklahoma Christian and right now what Oklahoma Christian is doing so well is every single time they go into the Saints territory whenever their players need to rotate out they steal boost and they get a demo. So far, I've counted three demos on, uh, I believe it was G-Man when we were just looking at him, and more demos came out as well. This is a very physical team. They're doing a great job of breaking the Saints goal line defense down. You gotta think it's only a matter of time before they find that shot that's finally going to go in. As Christian tries to find the clear, it's just not going to happen, and now the ball's going to stay centered. The bump just allowing Christian to not get to where he needed to be, and now he has to make a tough goal line save, but it's going to be a little easier than I honestly thought it was. The shot power could have been a little bit harder but as it stands right now the story
story is St. Clair, you need to get out of your own end and you need to find some action on that orange side. Without a doubt, they're on the defensive end for most of the round, but it's still a 1-1 game. All it takes is one good opportunity as Chili gets it saved away there. Chicken's gonna maybe look for a cross here, but Scoots finds the clearance over to Christian. Can he make anything happen here on the attack? Gonna leave it back for Spoods as Saints are making their way up the field, but Chili is gonna be able to find the clearance as G-Man finds a demo onto Besh. That's a very dangerous opportunity for his side of Oklahoma, but they won't be able to capitalize just yet. Chicken's gonna take it around his defender and is gonna land at Christian's feet. Besh gonna take it Should over his defender and that's a shot on target, but G-Man is there for the defense. One minute left, one goal game. All you need is one goal to finish this one off. Christian's gonna find the clearance there for St. Clair's Oklahoma. Have had the attack for most of the game, but just can't seem to find that goal. Almost a mistake there coming out of Spoots is there. Another shot on target coming out from Vesh, but Chili's there with the save. As St. Clair are putting on the pressure in these final seconds. Spoots gonna look for a pass Good here. Towards the middle, and there it is. Vesh is there for the finish. Great teamwork from the Saints as they take a 2-1 lead with less than 30 seconds to go. And it's going to be G-Man that gets caught out rotating. He tries to go for the aggression on the back line, but it didn't need to happen. Chicken's going to miss, and he's going to get the wrong end of that 50 after the 50 goes. He just can't get a touch on the ball leaving it for Christian. Beautiful play there by the Saints and good heads up by Spoon's awareness, realizing that third man rotated back. Christian taking it up while he uses the flip to advance the ball forward, trying to find a touch, trying to redirect to the center, but no shot comes in. Clear by G-Man, and now it's going to be a battle for the ball for Spoon's, oh, and that's no. a really good redirect. Almost on target, save on the goal oh, line, no. but someone needs to come through and find the pinch. It's not going to happen. Ground pinch for the save attempt, but it's going to be dunked back in by Chicken. Chili with the assist as well. It was a really so good play close. by Chicken as well, but you had the same scrambling on the goal line you knew it was a matter of time and if nothing happens in these next 14 seconds it's going to be an exciting game one overtime that we are going to be thrown into it will be but look at this start for the Saints to get a dangerous opportunity as it's going to be Oklahoma on the counter attack G-Man trying to take it over his defender but Spoots is there for the save five seconds left next time it drops that will be the end Christian's going to look to take it over his defender it is in the air but it will be able to touch down and we're going to overtime in game one between St. Clair College and Oklahoma Christian University kickoff it's gonna go towards nobody really. That's a double demo, but that's a huge pass right there. Could have been a shot on target from G-Man, but he just can't find a great defense from the Saints to get back into it from a dire position. As Spoos is gonna go on the attack of his own. No defender inside is gonna get it off the <laughs> above the net, and he's gonna get the finish there. Great mechanics from Spoos to give game one over the Saints. And I saw Vesh going down the side. I just knew he was gonna be running interference. It's gonna make Chili just awkward enough to that he can't read Spoots' double. Really good job there helping out Spoots in the attack. Role player in Vesh, a beautiful play, and the Saints are gonna take an overtime thriller to go up one game. And that's a very important goal. You know, they had that 2-1 lead with under 30 seconds, and when, when they uh, surrendered that second goal, you know, it could have all went downhill, but they were able to stay in, in it mentally, and really focused up in that overtime. A great goal to finish off game one and give them a nice little start in, in a 1-0 one, one lead in the series. Right, I mean, that's just the start that St. Clair needed. You know, they were really getting eaten up again by those demos. I pointed that out, that Virginia was having an easy time kind of getting their back line a little bit, uh, you know, mixed up. And um, honestly, I do think that Oklahoma did such a good job of doing that exact same thing. They just couldn't capitalize on their opportunities when they had a couple that just kind of went by the wayside. St. Clair doing a beautiful job of making their opportunities count, and I think that's why they won this game. Yeah, I mean, they were on the defense for most of the game, but ended up scoring three goals themselves. They they played basically perfect defense, maybe a couple dangerous chances, but they definitely made the important saves at the right time and were able to keep themselves in the game and just found that one, one or two little mistakes that allowed them to capitalize on on, and they, they were able to score the goals when they needed to. Right, and as I'm hearing the kickoff go through on the side of game two, we're going to be jumping straight into it. G-Man with a little bit of a missed challenge. However, the clear is going to come through. Oh. And now it's actually going to be the center. I thought the clear was going to come through, but that was not the case. And now it does. Spoots Again. getting the pass, trying to see if he can find that double, but it's not going to happen. As G-Man clearing out, Vesh trying to run interference. He's going to try to force the 50, but not making it awkward. And now Christian has to find a play. Vesh trying to run interference on the bump. Can it get 50 oh, in? No. It's a beautiful save by Chili, using all three parts of the woodwork to get it out there. And now Spoots has to try to come back and see if he can find anything to deter this defense of Oklahoma. But so far, they stand strong. That was a huge Huge save from Chile in a 1v2 situation, just able to get the tap and Besh gonna get it over one defender. The follow-up will be there from Christian, but it will be just over the crossbar. A Spoos now on the defense has to be careful here. It's gonna be able to find the save, and maybe Saints can pressure on the counter-attack, but it's gonna be cleared out, and it's not gonna be down the middle field. Christian's gonna find a pretty 
weak shot on target. Gonna be cleared out by G-Man. Vesh with a bit of an awkward touch into the corner, passing it over to Kirsten. But Chicken takes down Spooz as Oklahoma had a dangerous opportunity there. But you can see they're backing all the way up as Vesh takes down Chicken. They're not taking these demos lightly. They're gonna get their get back. G-Man wow. is gonna get taken out of the air by Spooz as Chicken's gonna find a pass over to G-Man again. It's gonna be a dangerous ball towards the middle. Christian is there for the save. Another cross coming in. Can they find anything? No, it's gonna be a great defense from the Saints yet again, but not too many members back. Spoo's gonna find that clearance as well as it's gonna be a minute 30 in this game. Nothing crazy happening great so pass. far. Speaking of nothing crazy, Vesh flying through the air, finding the goal there. Beautiful pass coming out from Spoo's and the great teamwork there gives St. Clair a 1-0 lead. Right, I mean, it was all in the cards there. Spoots with an amazing pass. They think that it's going to be a shot, and I believe it was Chicken who was trying to challenge up, but he has a man in the name of Vesh who is superior in the aerial battle. He's going to find the shot on target, and it's a beautiful goal. And as the kickoff oh, goes in the way, it's going to be another pass, and I want to see St. Clair utilize more of these passing plays. I think that they have a very good offense oh, when they do net. that, and with the open net on the backside, it seems like Christian can't find enough pass. for a shot, but he's going to elect to pass it. Vesh with the shot, but the save from G-Man, and as the clear comes through, it seems like Oklahoma just trying to run some interference, trying to make the rotation of St. Clair a little bit on the awkward side. Really close calls from the side of Oklahoma, but their defense stands up strong yet again. You could definitely see the Saints what? putting on the pressure, what? and I think there was a little bit of a bump there from their own half. Vesh just going to pass it into the net. Let's see what happened here. G-Man simply just missed it, and it was just a bit of a distraction play from Spoos there. I don't know if... It was, I don't know if the ball covered the bump, but that was really, really weird. That's, if that, if that is a miss, you cannot afford that. Yeah. That, that is a crazy, crucial mistake. And St. Clair, they look very comfortable, but in the world of Nace, you can't look too comfortable. You can't be too comfortable. You don't want to underestimate your opponent. And as the shot comes in, it's going to be just 50 out by Vesh. Christian with an air dribble starter, but it's not going to be able to find the bump. He's going to elect to find the flick, but it's really good shadow defense from the side of G-Man. And as Chili clears his ball out, Vesh is going to win the 50. St. Clair doing a really good job of keeping that ball in the orange side. It's a complete mismatch and, you know, switch up from what we saw last game. And as they even get a little bit physical with the demo, it's going to take a lot for Oklahoma to get themselves back in it. You could definitely see the Saints have all of the momentum here. Just playing with such aggression, getting so many chances on target. Oklahoma haven't had a shot on target in feels like a couple of minutes, but here's going to be an attack. Let's see if they can get anything going, but it's all, only Chicken on his lonesome, trying to get something done. G-Man's going to look for something, but Spoons is going to find that clearance, and Sage just need to hold on for a couple more minutes to take the second game, but they're going to look for a third. Chicken's going to find that save against Vesh now, and it's going to be G Man actually going on the counter attack. Spoos is there for the defense, but it's a bit of an awkward bounce. Christian is there for the backup as Chicken's gonna cancel out the clearance. Gonna look for a pass of his own. Vesh is there in the air to knock it up, and Christian's gonna be able to clear that one out. A nice little reset in time. Burns for the Saints. Minute 30 left. Spoos in the air. Is that shot on target? Right above the crossbar, but Chicken's able to get a touch there to deny that one from going in as Christian takes around one defender. Chili now gonna play this one very, very slow and try and take it around Spoos here, but Spoos has the boost advantage. Advantage. We'll be able to take that one as G-Man takes around one, but Saints are able to stop it. If only a minute 10 left, and the ball's just kind of being ping pong right now. No, neither team able to create an attack. Good shot on target from the bomb. there, but it was a pretty simple save. Bump didn't come through. Christian finds a demo, and with one minute left, Saints looking very good to take the second game. That's using the wave dash, trying to beat to the 100 pad, but it's not going to happen. Flip off the ceiling, and G-Man's going to try to advance further. Christian says no way. He's going to get the demo, and as Chili tries to bring this thing to his center, trying to look for the shot or the pass of the shooter, it's not going to happen. Clear out from Vesh. Oh, nice. And now Spoods and Vesh in a little bit of a 2v1. One can choose to run interference, but it's not going to happen quick enough. Christian with the quick clear. I believe he has a flip that he can try to use on this ball. Uh -oh. It's not going to happen. Sets up a pinch, but Vesh with a beautiful save. Just keeping that ball out of the St. Clair net. Uh -oh. How long can he go for? Not much longer. St. Clair looked like they were having a little bit of a defensive trouble. Their boost numbers started to seem to get a little bit low. Vesh already made his move, and he couldn't use that nice 74 shot. that he had left to help out. Really good shot on the side of Oklahoma. Oklahoma, and this thing may not be over just yet. The yeah. score is 2-1 with 28 seconds left. It's far from over, 30 seconds left. We saw last game, Oklahoma was able to get a, sec a, a second goal in those last
last 15 seconds. Let's see how the Saints decide to play the clock this time. They're going to look for a clearance here. Smooth's going to be able to find it. And maybe the Saints can get one more for insurance here, but they want to get too aggressive. Vesh going to be here on the attack as well. A bit of a missed touch, though, and Christian's going to be able yeah, to miss it. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. Another mistake from the Saints in the final 30 seconds as they allow two quick goals and let Oklahoma get back into this game. And as Spoods can't find the bump on a G-Man, it is going to be pivotal in the turn of the counterattack. He's able to find the complete air dribble to get it over to the side of Chicken, who's ready and waiting for the shot. Christian just didn't have enough to break up the pass before it happened, and you don't have that third man back. And as the demo comes in on the side of G-Man, the Saints now low on numbers. That's a really huge touch by Christian just to eliminate any forward pressure. And now the Saints will try to get an attack as the pass comes through. Oh. Shot in, but Chicken with the save. And, again. and now we have a second overtime. This series has been so electrifying so far. A little bit of a dangerous kickoff, but it's going to be an easy save for Spoods. Pass back to Besh. Can Besh find the double? No, saved out by Chicken. Beautiful read. And now is G-Man on the backboard to try to find the ground pitch. It's going to be cleared back from Spoods. And right now, G-Man with that boost, he's going to elect to fake it off to his teammate. And with Christian with the pinch to clear, wave dash, chain dash on the wall. He's going to try to find this pass, trying to get through the middle, finding anyone. It's going to be Besh with the shot, but so far, Oklahoma's defense stands up. Yep, 30 seconds gone, and now it's going to be Oklahoma back on the attack. Best should be able to control that one and clear that one out. And Saints definitely going to look to win the second one. A bit of a choke job there in the last 30 seconds. But if they can win it in the end, it does not matter. Let's see how Besh decides to play here. Going to take it around one. And that's going to be the follow-up coming up from Krishna. Nice little touch there, but G-Man should be able to find the clearance. And now Saints have to get back a little bit. G-Man looking very dangerous on this attack. Tries to pass it up to a teammate, but great defense from Besh. Able to clear that one out. Chicken's going to look for a shot, but won't find the chili. Does demo spoo. So a little bit of an advantage there. But Saints now looking to attack on the counter. Besh going to be able to take it around one defender Huge around fake. the second. Is it going to get any help from any of his teammates? Not in time, as it's going to be Oklahoma back on the attack. But a pretty simple shot for Spoos to deal with. Nice little passing play there. Up to Christian. Christian. Can he find a shot off the back of the net? No, he won't be able to find it there. It's going to be Vesh for the follow-up. He will be, but G-Man is going to be able to save that one out as Spoos gets a crucial touch there in the air to cancel out the counter-attack for Oklahoma. Christian, 1 minute 30, so much action going on, but just no goals yet. This is not good, though. It's going to be a little bit of a commit oh. by St. Clair. They don't really have much boost. Two players on zero, and it seems like Spoods needs to try to be the one to start spug pluck this offense, but it's going to be Christian. He's going to try to find the clear, but it's not going to happen. Infield pass, but that's a huge bump <laughs> from Spoods. I believe that was the shooter that he took out, yep, yep. and now Vesh can get the offense going. He's going to try to find the 50. It's hit out by, I believe, it was Chili, and G-Man on the miss is going to be uh -oh. set up for the shot. Chili just needs to find the pass, electing the solo play, air dribble saved out by, I believe that was Christian, who is now going to try to find the next touch, Vesh on the clear, but it's not going to happen, 50 to the corner, and now with a pass coming in, it's going to have to be Spoos oh, trying to find the shooter, it's going to be Vesh with the clear out, and Christian tries to go down the field, needs to have a huge 50 here, and that's big on the is side of the there? Saints, but it doesn't seem like anyone's there, and Spoods needs to try to find this double, but it's not going to happen. Time and time again, St. Clair seemed to be threatening on this goal line, but Oklahoma has a raw solid defense. Yeah, Oklahoma definitely tightening up their defense the longer the series goes. Spoo's going to find a big touch there as either team just can't seem to find an opening. Great defense from both sides, but it's Oklahoma on the attack here. Chicken's going to look for that 50. Won't be able to find too much. And is that shot going to be anywhere near the goal? Right next to the post, it will land. It won't be on target there. Besh going to take that one out the air. Pass it to the corner to himself and going to control it in the corner for a little bit here. But Chili is going to be up in the air to take it on the counter attack. Christian's going to have to find a crucial touch and he does. Let's see if Chicken can maybe Good get a match. nice pass there. But Spoods with a huge clearance as Saints look to push on the attack. But G-Man's going to win that 50-50. It's going to be so much action here. Christian is going to find a crucial touch and maybe a little pass forward. That's a huge pass. Two on one here. Great save on the wow. line from Chicken as Oklahoma refused to go down the second overtime. So and now on the counter attack, they have a shot on target themselves, but Spoods is there for the save. Three minutes, 30 gone. Chili gonna look for a shot on target, but won't be able to find it. As Spoods and Christian, a bit of miscommunication there, but they're able to get the clearance as Oklahoma are still pushing with all their forces. Spoods and G-Man fighting in the corner here. It's a great pass, but a what great save it? from Christian, and it's gonna be complete chaos in this overtime. Three minutes, 45, still no goals. Christian gonna take it over the defender, but a great save there from Chicken as either team one call away from victory.
beat here. Right, I mean, this is just any man can take it at this point. It seems that instinct is just kicking in for all of these players. Barely any comms going down on the defensive side as we had the miscom earlier. That almost screwed St. Clair over. That's a great pass, though. Oh. And it should be a demo coming in, but it's going to be G-Man to clear it out. He's kind of been the man back to deal with everything. But how, how, how long can you deal oh. with it? How long can you deal with this pressure? It's going to be off the backboard, and the second shooter should be coming in. Smooth with a light touch, most likely for there Christian. And that's oh, going to be exactly is. how it ends. It's 1-2-3 on the rotation. Vesh running interference goes back as the third man. Spoods with just a beat on the defense. And it just has to be Christian to beat Chile in the brace to the ball. That's going to be exactly what happens. I'm so happy and surprised by this result. Two overtime thrillers going the way of St. Clair. And if you're Oklahoma, you have to find something to get back on your feet. Absolutely. Oklahoma playing a great... Look at that. 911 points from G-Man. Eight yeah. saves. Like, Zero this goals. Was, <laughs> look at the shots coming in. Shot counter for 10 to 11. I mean, it does seem, you know, it seems that I would have thought there would have been more shots. Uh, or no, sorry, not 11 on the side of the Saints. Saints had a lot of yeah, shots. Lot sorry, I was that. just seeing thought that had zero, but he had eight. So many shots coming in uh, from both teams. I honestly thought with the way this game was going that Oklahoma had more than 10 shots as well. But, I mean, that just goes to show you that all of their shots were decent opportunities. There weren't many wasted opportunities uh, here. They either required a very good interference play on the other side or extremely beautiful save yeah. from the defense. And you have to remember, Oklahoma, we're down 2-0 with 30 seconds or a minute left. Was there a minute or 30 seconds I, left? It was it was St. Clair that was up. Up with, 2 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so Oklahoma definitely brought it back, but they just can't find it in the latter stages of the game. Dangerous kickoff, though, and it's going to be an early offense on the side of Oklahoma. Just trying to find the clear, but the play's going over and pass up, and now it's going to be dropped down from the ceiling. Bump coming in as well on Devesh, I believe. This is a really awkward ball, and Christian has to be the one to save the Saints on the side of the defense. Yeah, and it's going to be Saints looking to get off to another hot start and just keep it smooth sailing, but Oklahoma definitely not going down without a fight. Have to now find the reverse sweep to pick up this series. As there's going to be a nice shot on target, but Vesh is there for the save. A crucial one at that of Spoods. Let's get on the counter tag, but you can see Oklahoma now sending all three members back defensively immediately. And speaking of immediately almost scoring there, Christian with a beautiful shot, save in the 2v1. As you can see, Oklahoma really turning up the energy here, trying to find an early goal, but Saints playing perfect defense. Vesh finds a save there. It's Christian going to look for the counter attack. Can he take it over Defender is going to find a huge demo there. The follow up from Besh is just not there in time. But Spoos is going to be there, and that's going to be a great start for the Saints again. Able to take an early lead, but they, they can't get too complacent. They have to hold it and definitely not give it up if they want to take the series. Overwhelming pressure on both sides, right? I mean, Oklahoma got so close there. They just didn't have a shooter to come in, and St. Clair were able to clear it out. They go back down the other way and pretty much replicate exactly what happened on the other side of the field. This time, Oklahoma don't have that third man to clear, and they are going to take advantage on the side of St. Clair as I think Christian just tried to have, use the wave dash to pop and now Spoots trying to look for the double but it's going to be cleared out. Going to find a demo though. I really like this new look from Spoots. I've been seeing him run a lot of interference. He's kind of been finding a lot of demos and same with Christian. I like to see the Saints when they're demoing. I don't think they've been physical enough in recent series. I do like this new game style oh, from them man. and if they keep it up opportunities like that are going to open up but you can't miss those if you're on the side of St. Clair as they try to get another one. Oklahoma going to be able to save it out. Great try to profess. Usually he would be scoring those, but nobody's perfect. He's gonna miss that one in the air as well. Leave it for Spoods and they find the passing play here. Spoods gonna take it over a couple defenders. We're gonna see Vesh going for a bit of a bump there on the goal line, but was not able to find those Christians here for the follow-up. But it will be cleared out by G-Man Saints. Can't get too aggressive here. They do have the lead. That's gonna be a shot on target from G-Man, but Christian finds another amazing save. The defensive efforts here from the Saints have been impeccable as it's going to be another save coming out there. That one wasn't on target, but Chile is almost able to find the goal. There's Vesh, finds a huge interception there. Chicken's going to find the clearance. Spoods going to touch it toward the corner as it's going to be another clearance. Vesh and G-Man demoing each other, but that's going to be a shot on target. Christian is back there, is going to find that save again. He's kind of been their defensive hero here, it seems like, in this game as Chile is going to get the ball on his own goal line. Vesh going to look maybe for a pass towards the teammate here. That's a crucial miss. They're going to take it over a second. And there's the follow-up from Christian of Saints take the 2-0 lead yet again and they look to take the series 3-0.
Vesh, just an amazing read, looking like KDB out there on the offense, and it's going to be the find onto Christian. You were saying that Christian's been looking like a defensive mastermind on the side of the Saints. I have to agree with you, <laughs> but what I love to see here is that Christian's also getting involved in the attack, yep. finding those demos as he is right now, finding those opportunities to put shots or passes, running interference. I like that all three of the Saints are kind of doing the same exact thing. The flow seems pretty uh, synchronous and fluid. I think that I really love this new look for the Saints so far. Yeah. They've really, uh, honestly, they've really enlightened me with what I've seen. And right now, if you're Oklahoma, that's a great 52 oh. shot, most likely, and that's going to be exactly what happens. What I was going to say is I really love what these Saints are showing me so far. Yeah. But let's talk about Oklahoma for a minute. G-Man with the absolute weight room of a 50, using the flip to just pressure that ball past the defender, going to find Chile for the shot. Beautiful play by Oklahoma. And if you're St. Clair, you can't get too comfortable. 2-1 Two lead now. Last time they brought it to overtime. You got to hope that St. Clair can find the dagger soon. Yeah, you're going to hope to hope that Saints can turn it up both offensively and defensively. It's Oklahoma firing on all cylinders, trying to get that second goal back really, really quickly. But let's see how Saints do on this counterattack spoof. Won't be able to find too much, and Saints are going to back out of there. They do just need to protect their goal for these next couple of minutes, and they're going to take it. But a one-goal lead is not safe. As That's a huge demo from Spoots, but the shot on target is going to come through from Chicken. It's going to be saved out by Christian. He's going to flip it over. One defender and looking to start the counterattack quickly. Look at that shot. It's not a Stop target as Christian is not able to find it. Another demo from Vesh. The Saints are controlling the map so, so well. There's going to be a demo coming out from Chicken, though, onto Spoods as Saints definitely looking for that third goal. Probably should have had it there. Just some unfortunately touches there. Christian is trying to take it across the whole team as G-Man's going to have it on the counter attack. Spoods is he for the defense, but it is in the corner. It's going to be a pass attempt here from really G-Man. Spoods looks for the save, but just can't find it. And Chile follows it up as Oklahoma yet again are able to bring it back and make it 2-2. And they're so good at just staying composed. G-Man knows that even if Spoots save this, it's going to end up being a dunk. Plays it perfectly. Spoots with a little bit of a mistake there on the goal line. Just hitting it a little too far forwards. But if he hit it back, it's getting dunked anyway. So yeah. you just have to try to put it off the crossbar. Unfortunately, oh. on the side of the Saints. But now they can start to worry about another attack. Vesh delaying the play. And it's going to be, I thought, a little bit of a smart decision. But it seems like it did not affect Chile. And as Chile tries to get the uh -oh. on the other side, it should set up oh, a beautiful save. shot. But a great save by Spoots. Let's see how he can recover as Vesh tries to help him out on that side wall. It's going to be a miss by Chicken, and that's going to zero boost now. He's just trying to run interference on the side of Vesh. He needs to find this clear right now. One man to beat, and he's going to carry it over him. And now, as the play tries uh -oh. to flip over G-Man, does he have the double? Big no, clear. not quite. Big clear out from Christian. Chicken with the starter on the offense. It's round one, leaving it for Chile. That should be the shot on target, but saved yet again from Spood. Shot coming out. Saints flocking, fr frantically panicking on the back line, but it's just not going to go in. Chile with a flip reset. I believe he has two. He has the double, but it's not going to happen. Great save. G-Man with a double tap at 10. Maybe a pass, but no shooter inbound. Oklahoma knocking on oh, the doorstep demo. of the Saints, but with that demo going down, it's going to be St. Clair, who have just survived for now. Christian, they have to try to find the clear, but as this ball drops down, you have to hope that you are going to see overtime. One second left, I like to keep it up, and it's going Vesh? to be Vesh off the corner. Does he have the read trying to find the pass? Oh, Christian with the pass and the shot, but it's going to be a brilliant save by Chicken, and we have our third consecutive overtime. Third consecutive overtime. I think it's been 2-2 every single time as well. Just such intense series from these two teams. The Saints look to close it out. They're 2-0 in the overtimes so far. Let's see how they decide to play this third one. Vesh going to look for a pass towards the middle, but won't be able to find anything as Christian is going to go for an aerial attack of his own. Going to take it over his defender, but it's just off target. Jima is not going to find the save there. Great defense from him. Spoods going to look for a pass towards the middle, but Chile will be there for the clearance as it's going to be Spoods winning it out in the air again. As Vesh on the follow-up. Nice little pass to himself, and Christian Spoods is there for the finish as St. Clair Saints. Three overtimes, three wins, and they take the series. 3-0, but it was a very, very entertaining series at that. It's a game of threes, ladies and gentlemen. Vice Trans <laughs> Theo just said the three games sweep, the 3-2 overtime, the third overtime done by these three brilliant players. It was a great showing. I really loved everything that I was seeing here. Spoods with just a beautiful read of the play. Vesh with an amazing mindset, knowing that he can just try to find the pass if the double doesn't go through. Great interference by the Saints as well that entire series. We have a lot to talk about.
Yeah, we do. I mean, it was three overtime games. And, you know, after a bit of a rough week last week, Saints really turning it up a notch here and taking down a very, very strong opponent in 3-0 fashion. That's going to be a huge momentum boost for the rest of uh, the upcoming series that they're going to play. And I think they're really bringing it together. This team is getting better and better by the day and building that chemistry, building that teamwork. They're really putting on a show for us. Right, and I mean, as I said, like these boys almost made it to day three of the NARLCS quals. Uh, uh, so, I mean, you know, they're playing high level competition. It's only a matter of time before you see them transfer that level of talent onto the pitch in terms of NACE against other colleges. And I mean, we're seeing it right in front of our very eyes, ladies and gentlemen. I need to say uh, right now that I think the main difference that I'm seeing from this team is Spoods is now allowed. He has that support from Vesh and Christian to go up and go and do things on the side of the offense. I think he's a very creative player who can kind of find the little cracks and crevices and defenses and what I really like to see from the Saints is that they're not almost locked into positions anymore they used to kind of play this little two up one back style yeah. but right now it seems like they're kind of just going in a little bit of a triangle they have that mid man waiting for the shot if the guy in front can't get anything to go and when they're rotating back for boost they're making sure they put a demo or a bump on to set up the next shot yeah they're definitely playing as a team uh, way more all three members seem to be scoring all three members seem to be getting crucial saves and the defense of the Saints was just impeccable throughout this series. They did kind of fall apart towards the end of every game, but in overtime when it mattered most, they were ma they managed to clutch it up and uh, win, it, win a very, very exciting series. I got to give it to Oklahoma though, right? I mean, their defense was absolutely incredible for, I want to say, pretty much the first two of the three games. I know that third game they buckled a little bit, but... It, it is was what still it two, is. Two. It was still 2-2, <laughs> two, two, right? I mean, you can't say that they conceded a lot. It was just the Saints started to kind of have those opportunities a little more. And so it was just about them being able to create those opportunities was what Oklahoma was shutting down really well. And then in that third game, it got a little bit, you know, one-sided towards the beginning. But... Just like in all three of those other games, Oklahoma came through in the end. They didn't let the 2-0 leads falter them, and they just absolutely put on a competitive show match. Don't get this, like, you know, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 3-0 game sweep, but if you were here and watching it, you would see that result, and you'd know it was anything but that. Yeah, I mean, we expected five, five games, but I think that banger of a three-game series is... Basically the same thing, you know, I we, got a, we got a four-minute overtime, so it was a lot of fun, but in the end, our Saints able to get the victory and gonna keep look to keep the ball rolling. Right, and I mean, uh, you know, it is a beauty to honestly watch it. I mean, these boys, like I was saying, like last semester, I was kind of watching these guys, you know, on the respective sides, and as they kind of came together on this one team, I was kind of watching them and, you know, doing my little bit of research, and it was just kind of like, okay... It's something new. They have to get it another try as well. Shout out to our coach scholar as well on the RL team. He, it seems like since he's come on, you know, these boys have just been absolutely on fire. So I think that, you know, he's kind of the spark plug that's gotten into these uh, guys. I think the passion has gone up mm -hmm. tremendously. I think these three look incredible. And I have to agree. But with that being said, let's wrap it up. That's all we got for today. Uh, thank you to our sponsors. We got Subway, HyperX, Tim Hortons, the SRC, and the St. Clair alumni thank you to everyone in the back who made this stream possible who's, in, who's back there today so i believe it's matthias dan and tj who is our observer so big shout out to you guys you know we can't do any of this without the work that you guys put into the back room so big shout out over there yeah thank you to our players for putting on the show obviously they don't get enough love when we're saying our outros but our players definitely deserve the love so thank you for putting on the performance and to not miss any saints action follow us on social media we got twitter instagram youtube twitch and everywhere so make sure you guys follow us on all our social medias we we update there daily so if follow us to not miss anything and tomorrow we have a exciting game day we're starting at 7 p.m we got overwatch we got call of duty tomorrow what else we got in there i'm pretty sure that's it but oh, i will say it. that i will be on the desk tomorrow <laughs> as well to cast those so i'll be with matthias i believe as it stands right now so looking forward to casting with you matthias buddy in the back room and uh you know we're gonna have a good show yeah and the good show is what we're looking forward to tomorrow. Thank you guys, though, for watching today. It's been me, Theo, alongside Patrick. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a great cast, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow.